Sligo has been awarded the European Capital for Volunteering in 2017 and this evening we're in Brussels and Marian Harkin is just about to host a conference about volunteering right here in this room. <laughs> Marion, we're here because Sligo is the European Volunteer Capital for 2017. What does that actually mean for Sligo? Well, first of all, isn't it just wonderful? I'm absolutely delighted. What does it mean for people? Well, what it gives is an opportunity for next year to recognise, to celebrate and to support volunteers in Sligo. And Today we have here in the Parliament nine award winners from what we call the Cahirlux Award in Sligo from right across the county for volunteering in different areas. And then next year we'll have the same thing. But the year itself there will be loads of different events. But if there was one thing I wanted from next year it would be that this is a whole county affair. You know, that people in every part of Sligo, whether you come from the heart of the town or the most rural parish, that everybody gets involved and that everybody, you know, that those who don't volunteer begin to see the value of it and recognise it for what it is. And those who do volunteer, as I said, that we support them and above all else, that we celebrate them. Because last night I was just talking to a few of the volunteers and they say what I say and what everybody says. You actually get more out of volunteering than you put in. And that in itself is good for you and it's great for society. A final word, I've said it before, say it again. Volunteering is the glue that holds our societies together. Just think about that. And then when you do, think about volunteering. to happen next year? Well, I uh, spoke this evening about some of the events that we're hoping to have, so I suppose we will be getting really a, a celebrate, recognise and inspire are the three words that I used. So we'll be kind of celebrating what we already do, um, recognising the people behind the scenes, the people of Sligo all around the county, what they uh, do on a day-to-day -day basis uh, around volunteering and hopefully inspiring more people to volunteer. So we're going to have, I suppose, events uh, with European visitors. We're going to, we're hoping to have a Guinness World Record attempt. We don't know what that will be yet, but just a bit of fun with it, uh, a way to engage people from all ages, all backgrounds, all around Sligo. Well, Rory, congratulations, because you're here as one of the Cahirlach Award winners. But you yourself have a fairly inspirational story as to why you're here. Do you mind telling our viewers why you're here? Well, it's Saoirse's the inspiration. Um, you know, her mum passed away and uh, herself and her classmates wanted to uh, do something to remember her mum and to, and to help uh, Northwest Hospice, who were very good to uh, my wife Patrice. Um, so they organised a bake sale and they raised 850 euro uh, for the hospice and uh, this is why Saoirse was nominated for the Cahir Lux Award and uh, eventually won it. And to say that I'm proud of her is an uh, understatement. Saoirse, so you brought your dad really as a plus one? Yes. And so it was your idea to do the bake sale, wasn't it? Yeah. And do you know, you, how much money did you raise? 850 euro. Well, you're a great girl because it must have taken a lot of work to bake all the cakes to raise that much money. Yeah. And all your friends in your class supported you, didn't they? Yeah. So very well done, Sir Foley from Sligo. And I'm sure we'll be hearing more about you in 2017. You'll be probably giving speeches yeah. on your awards. <laughs> Bartley, you're here, you're chairman of the Flag Committee, and I suppose that was a very good example as to how volunteering worked in Sligo. Yeah, and that was that was my role here today, Claire, 
was to talk or give a testimony in respect to Sligo's experience in volunteering a rising of the flower. And as you will know, the flower relies very substantially on, on volunteering, you know, volunteering through the clubs, the community groups, and then the horde of volunteers that we round up during the week to help us implement the flower. So, so I suppose it's a very good example of how a community embraces volunteering to, to exude to others what it can do and what it can do. A huge honour now for Sligo to be the European capital for volunteering for 2017, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, it's a great honour. It's great recognition for the organisations who put so much into volunteering. And, you know, I suppose, I think in particular now of, uh, but not only, but I think in particular of the Sligo Teddy Towns, how every week, day in, day out, they have volunteers out in the street doing physical work. You know, many times, I think they're on a Sunday morning, many wet mornings they're out doing it. So, so it's a great recognition for people like that who are on the ground engaged in volunteer, volunteerism. And like, I suppose our society depends so much on volunteerism. And, and, and it's a, a means of saying to those people, we recognise what you do and we appreciate what you do. Well, I'm afraid that's all we have time for from the EU Parliament in Brussels. In the meantime, as always, from the team here, Sloan, August Bannock.